This comedian has turned into a gangster. Back it up, back it up. Like is one of the internet's biggest comedians, was loved by his fans for his funny skits, like pretending to be a vlogger. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean Bottom K, man. Right, he's bro. Joking about doing life in prison. Keep staring at me, bro. <laughs> Winning the lottery. And creating Christian rap songs. Our glory to Jesus Christ. Our glory to Jesus Christ. And everything was going great for him until one day the cops searched his house and found illegal substances, stolen goods, and fully automatic weapons. They immediately got him locked up with two million in bail and charged him with all kinds of felonies. Hey, free me, y'all guy. Hey, tell my mama, tell my mama I love her, guy. But here is where it gets even crazier. Just days after being put to jail, a video of him outside of prison appeared. Yeah, he right here. On my life. Right, yeah. And right after the video popped up, he did something that shocked his fans. Meet MK Slat, aka the world's funniest dealer and gospel rapper. But before he was put in prison, he was a very popular comedian. Welcome back. Welcome to school. You have to take your head off, sir. Oh my god. His funny skits and unique sense of humor has allowed him to build a loyal fan base, which later grew to 1.13 million YouTube subscribers. However, as he got more famous, his fans noticed something strange. His videos started featuring more and more weapons. Yeah, I got shit on these. And substance abuse. But everyone thought he was just being funny until one day he disappeared. This got everyone wondering where he went. Then months later, he would reappear again to drop this Christian rap song. And it got everyone excited seeing Slack change his ways. For the first time, it seemed like he's finally on the right track. Until the cops decided to investigate, and what they found shocked everyone. It turns out Slack was in the business of packing and selling illegal substances. He was also making money off of modifying weapons. Some of his fans were surprised, and some not so much. Slack was put on bail for two million. People were shocked. A two million dollar bail would mean he was done for. Now this is where things get interesting. Just a few days later, he was freed from prison after paying the bail. As it turns out, Slat didn't pay the $2 million bail because all he had to do was pay 10% to get out. Now, after all the drama, Slat went on to do something unexpected. He released another Christian rap song, and this got everyone to believe in him again, with many of them hoping that Slat was finally back on track. Slimeball is definitely back on the grind and will hopefully continue making videos and continue his rise to the top. Some say he's always been part of the hood. Some say the rapper lifestyle got the best of him. But what do you think? Was MK Slat really a slime ball? Whatever the answer is, I guess we can all say that this comedian probably was not joking after all.